This 500 calorie meal is done in 15 minutes and I'm currently loving it. I will start with one red onion. I will peel and cut it. Half of this onion is enough for one serving. It weighs around 50 grams and has 20 calories. Then I will dice this into small chunks. Now, I will take one skinless chicken breast. You can also use chicken thighs, as long as you don't use the skin where most of the fat is stored and is super high in calories. I will cut this into strips, turn it and then cut it again into equal sized chunks. Now I can also add two cloves of garlic and some ginger which works very well in this recipe. Now let's talk about the sauce. I will prepare a bowl with 50 gram of water. Then I will add one serving of powdered peanut butter. This is essentially peanuts with most of the fat removed which result in a low calorie peanut butter with more protein. Two tablespoons or 13 grams is enough. Give this a stir and then I will add in 20 gram of two tablespoon of soy sauce which will add in some umami flavor. 10 grams of one tablespoon of mirin which is a rice wine that is used for flavoring in Japanese cooking and 10 gram or one tablespoon of rice vinegar to add some acidity and lastly, I will add some chili flakes to add some heat. Now this might seem like a random mixture, but trust me, this tastes absolutely insane. Now I will preheat a pan to medium high heat and normally would add a spray of olive oil, but sometimes I will add five gram of sesame oil. This will add 35 more calories than the spray, but will taste amazing in combination with the sauce. I will start with adding the chicken, add some salt, not too much though because of the soy sauce, add a couple of cranks of black pepper, and now let this fry for two minutes until the browning process starts. As soon as the bottom of the chicken starts to get some color and the chicken looks like this, nicely colored though, I will add in the onion and now give everything a stir. I will let this cook now for another two minutes. The chicken should not get cooked through at this point, I'm just adding color. Now I will add the sauce and let this simmer for three to four minutes. This will now first start somewhat liquidy and then gets thicker and thicker once this cooks down and the sauce evaporates. In the meantime, let's talk noodles. I will use udon noodles for this. They taste amazing and they come in these packages that are exactly one serving and have around 230 to 260 calories and are perfect for portion control. However, if you want to reduce the calories even more, this would be also a perfect dish for shirataki or murka noodles. 200 gram of these noodles have only 25 calories and they taste pretty good with stir fried stuff. But for me, I use udon. To cook them, I will add water into a pot on high heat, add some salt and now wait until the water starts boiling. Then add the noodles in, wait for one minute and now I will just give the noodles a gentle shake with my tongs and they will start to loosen up. These noodles need three minutes of cooking time until they are done. So I will rinse them and then get back to my sauce that should be ready now and thickened up quite a bit. I will add in the noodles, toss everything until this becomes a super creamy udon dish that looks amazing. Optional, add some sesame seeds on top and there you have it. 15 minutes later and you have a meal that comes in with 533 calories, 72 grams of carbs, 7 grams of fat and 59 grams of protein. A simple and yet complex meal. Go check this video out to see how to make yaki udon another nice noodle dish.